Today, we are going to be looking at some new drops from the brand Firebach. You might remember this clothing brand from a long while ago. We checked out their water resistant clothing. That was a pretty fun video for me. And I think you guys enjoyed it too. So when they told me they released some new items, I was definitely interested in at least seeing what they were all about. And if you haven't yet checked out the Firebox site lately, if you haven't been there in a while, you will notice they've gotten a lot larger since we last looked at them. You can see here they've got a lot of offerings alongside the stuff we've already checked out the stuff that they're really known for today specifically though we will be checking out four items from their lineup three of them will be new items and then their fourth will be another look at their t-shirt but that t-shirt will be a different t-shirt than the one we covered in that video it's not the water resistant one it's their summer cooling tee but we'll get to that when we get to our fourth item first up here we have this half zip this is their smooth blend half zip mock sweatshirt and what drew me to this was not just the fact that I have a bunch of these style of sweatshirts. I mean, I love the half zip quarter zip style, but what really drew me to this was this accent of color that they have here on the side. Check this out. I think it's a really nice touch, just a little line of color there. I think it really sets this apart. I think it gives it a little bit of an edge and the fabric. I got to tell you, the fabric is fantastic. It's so soft. They say on the site, it's a 36% rayon, 30% cotton, 30% nylon and 4% spandex blend. So it's extremely soft. And then it's got a little little bit of stretch to it as well. Just, you know, just enough really to move with your body without being too much. You know, it's not overly stretchy, but it still moves with you, which I think is a pretty good thing. I think it's, it's, you know, not too constricting. This one too is definitely, in my opinion, more of a colder weather item. It's a little bit thicker on the fabric, so it will keep you nice and warm. Maybe a little bit too much for the spring, you know, maybe early spring, it'll be okay, but summer definitely not. It's going to be way too thick for you, but it'll be really good in the winter time. Moving to the next item, though, we've got here a more active option. You know, this is more of a fitness option here. This is the smooth blend elevate motion quick dry stand collar sports fitness jacket. And my God, that's an unnecessarily long name for a jacket. I mean, really? But, you know, unlike the name. This one is a bit of a, a, a lighter jacket. It's not as thick, but it is just as soft. I'll tell you that. I mean, I can't get over how soft the fabric is on these items. And according to their site, this one here is a 75% nylon, 25% spandex blend. So it's got a little bit more stretch to it than the first item we just talked about, but it's also much more breathable. And since it's more of an active option, more fitness option, it's also a full zip jacket. So it's in a quarter zip, it's a full zip and it's moisture wicking as well. So I think it's a really nice option for, you know, getting up and going to the gym or, you know, spring training, you know, just doing stuff outside that I don't actually do that I probably should, but you know, I'd like to feel like I do. Moving on to the next item here. This one's a little bit different for us to look at here. They call this the modal blend long sleeve tee. This one to me is a, a, more of a sweatshirt than a long sleeve tee, quite honestly, as it's slightly thicker than what um, you know, a long sleeve tee normally would be. It's kind of all, all more on the line of what we saw from like the Forte series in their crew neck sweatshirt. It's it's kind of more along along like that. So I kind of consider it more of a, a crew neck sweatshirt. But, you know, just like the others, this one is incredibly soft. I mean, it's this one is even more soft than the other two that we've looked at. They say on the side, this one is 42 percent lensing modal, which I've never that's the first time I've ever heard that word or though I guess it's two words I've never first time I've ever heard those two words together but you know apparently it's really soft 49% polyester and 9% spandex so it's not super stretchy, but it has a, a, a little bit of stretch to it as well as the end. And also you got that breathability there, making it really great for that fall autumn time frame where it's just starting to get a little cooler or the time frame we're actually in now where I live, where it's still cooler for parts of the day and then warmer for other parts of the day. Also, this one is probably the most comfortable out of the four that we're talking today as far as the fabric goes and how it feels. I mean, it's soft, soft and another helping of soft. I just can't even just tell you how soft and cloudy this fabric is. It's just phenomenal, really. Lastly, though, 
we do have something that is more fit for the summer time frame that we're entering the spring time frame that we're in now this is that t-shirt that we talked about here at the beginning this is actually their stay cool 2.0 curve hem tee i did get this in the slim fit style as well but they do offer a classic fit on their site and they've got four different collar styles that you can choose from there i did get the crew neck as i've never ever ever been able to pull off a v-neck just isn't in the cards for me so i got the crew neck i think it worked out pretty well this one is designed for cooling they say moisture wicking and to be antibacterial actually during those hot and sweaty days and just like the others it's also very soft a really nice soft fabric that the site says is made with a blend of 34 percent pima cotton 34 percent bamboo fiber and 32 percent serona fibers it's also pre-shrunk so the size is pretty true to fit i think for me i got I'll, I'll talk about size here in a second i got this one in the large i do think the arms fit pretty well you know they're not it's too tight on me but they're also not overly like overly wide and flappy either so i think that that's pretty good i do think that it is a tiny bit short on the length i think it just comes down just maybe maybe just a hair too short that's a personal preference thing though and it does have that curve too it's got a curve to the cut there at the bottom so i think that that does help a lot as well speaking of the fit and the sizing once again let me run through the sizes on this here it's pretty easy for three of the items we talked about the first three items that we talked about those were extra larges and how I came to that was I looked at their size guide and I had a feeling just a gut feeling these might run small so I sized up from my usual large size preference for the t-shirt though I did roll the dice a little bit and get a large in that I just wanted to kind of feel that out and see how it worked out and I do think it worked out really good I've worked it worked out fine I could have gotten away probably with a large with the other ones as well but overall I'm really happy with the way they fit I really don't have any complaints as far as the fit goes but I know everybody is different on their preferences and how they feel they want things to either fit you know true to size or they maybe they want it to be a little snug maybe they want it to be a little loose so i thought i would just add that in there as the the sizes that i chose once again i'm pretty happy with it lastly to the prices on these i think they're actually very reasonably priced the first item we looked at here is listed at 48 bucks on their site that's pretty good for this i think the second item we looked at the full zip it's 58 dollars again very reasonable i think very reasonable in my opinion the third item we talked about, that brown long sleeve shirt slash sweatshirt, I... I'm on the fence about that one. It's the only one that I'm a little on the fence about only because I feel like it's more of a sweatshirt than a long sleeve tee. The price on that one's 52 bucks. I don't quite mind it. I'm a little on the fence about it, though, being as I I feel like it's more of a sweatshirt than a long sleeve. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. But the final item, the T-shirt comes in at around thirty four dollars and twenty cents on their site. I believe that's exactly what it is, actually. Thirty four dollars and twenty cents, which I really don't think is too bad. I mean, the shirts that like the shirt I'm wearing right now, I bought I buy this brand in store for around thirty or thirty five dollars, depending on sales. So. I don't, I don't know. I don't really see that as too bad. The brand also, though, is offering you guys a coupon code for if you're interested in picking anything up or checking out anything. That coupon code is in the description and it's worth 20%. So it's a nice little amount of savings there. And a link to each of the items that we've discussed here today is in the description for you as well if you'd like to give those a look. I do believe, though, that is it for today. That's everything I wanted to discuss here today. I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking these out with me. Let me know what you thought of these picks or your thoughts on anything on the Firebox site in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I always enjoy interacting with all of you, so make sure you do that. As always, make sure you help me out with that like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. That's a huge help to me. Thank you very much in advance for doing that. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.